75 years. 75 years of our school. That's a quite a history, right? From old building to new building. From post-service field of study through telecommunication to cybersecurity. That's advanced. Two of 90. That's us. Two of 90 graduates of cybersecurity education field. I'm teaching at the school currently, and Giovanni here is work in practice. Well, this is us. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Giovanni Guadagno, and as my colleagues say, uh, I'm working in a company called Exanta as a system engineer, and I'm also delivering external lectures for students in, in, uh, in the center. And I'm Jan Bednar, and I'm teaching at this high school. Times are changing, and the school is changing too. Hackers are everywhere. School wanted to teach experts to fight back, but we didn't have the means we didn't have the spaces, and we didn't have the equipment. Luckily for us, European Union gave us the opportunity. We built barrier-free, cloud-based labs with individual approach for every one of the students. But OK, now you have the facilities, but what's next? You, don't, you need experts. You need to. Uh, make the programs for the students. Uh, and when we were thinking of the project, uh, we, we said, okay, that's, that's, this is the right way. Uh, connect uh, school, connect academia with the experts and make some program which is uh, absolutely, mm, which is only in the Czech Republic. So, our center called Junior Center of Excellence for Cybersecurity is not about, it's not, not just only about the facilities and the programs, it's about a uh, community, about uh, experts, about, um, about external teachers. Uh, our center is uh, teaching future experts in the cybersecurity field because of that, because they have the opportunity to work with. Uh, components and the programs which is used in corporate and in business. So we are teaching future experts. Also, we have established a computer security incident response team, which is trusted by other companies and universities. Also, our team has attended an action or some, uh, or an action by uh, the European uh, Union Security Agency, ENISA, called Cyber Europe. Uh, also, if the students want to grow up more in cybersecurity or to learn new things in cybersecurity and are at the beginner level, we set up some extracurricular um, subjects called uh, cyber, cyber community uh, as afternoon in which they can learn new things with uh, corporate, uh, corporate tools. We were the first with labs and now Every region in Czech Republic wants it too. And we are here for them. We hand our experience and our knowledge. Luckily for us, a lot of companies need and want experts in cybersecurity. And they are willing to waste their human resources on us. We have partnership with over 50 entities, including companies, government, and universities. And because of that partnership with these companies, we can change the way we teach the students. We, instead of just teaching, we can give the students opportunity to receive the certifications. And the certifications can be used to avoid, avoid uh, graduating exams. Also, because of the partnership with more than 50 entities, students can work uh, here as, as, as a part-time job after school. Uh, I'm an example. I work in a company called Accenta after school, and here I realized that things that uh, was teach in the school and things which was doing in the, in the, co in the companies and the business was a little bit different. It's, it was something like confrontation. But then I realized, okay, so why just take the, take the know-how 
which I learned in the in the in the in the in the company and in the business. I take him back to the to the to the academia to the to the school. So I was talking with my with with one of my teacher, and he said, "Okay, uh, would you want to to give us a presentation to make some materials for us?" And I said, "Yes." So I make a pilot. We are now creating something like uh, cybersecurity scenarios from real example, real world problems, and we are giving back to the school. Uh, I, I, I did it in the, in the third grade, and in the fourth grade in Czech Republic, you have something like the final exam. And our principal here, which is sitting here in the back, said, okay, so why don't you, do you want to, do you want to uh, make for us some uh, scenarios to, to uh, make it as a final exam? And I said, yes. Uh, now I'm graduate, I'm working in the company, and I'm giving back my know-how to the school as an external lecturer. I'm in a different shoes. As it was said before, we just don't cooperate with companies, but with universities and government too. Brno is like a center of cybersecurity in Czech Republic. The National Cybersecurity Agency is based in Brno and we cooperate with them a lot. And what now? We are employing scenarios from Giovanni. We still expand our partners. We are becoming technical its own to provide cybersecurity to more and more students. And we are teaching other schools how to create a center like ours. Thank, Thank you for you. your attention.